professional networking site LinkedIn is expected to float on the stock market in the coming month or two and that will mean a big potential payday for its founders and investors. I'm now joined by Guy Fraser Sampson of Cass Business School who is an expert on private equity. Guy, the two venture capital companies involved here, Sequoia and Greylock, their stake is now valued potentially around uh, half a billion each. And does this just prove that if you want to make big money, you need to uh, start investing in a company at a very, very early stage? It certainly does. It suggests very strongly that if you want what we call a home run, something that has the potential to provide the capital or return the capital of the entire original fund, it's much better to start investing at an early stage. It's very sexy though, isn't it? Isn't it these big multiples of returns but uh, how just how difficult is is it to find them it's very difficult and it masks the fact that for every one of these one really big winners there are a great number of venture investments that fail to return their capital that's the awful arithmetic of the venture model you get one very big winner you might get 15 or 20 which fail and of course we see them in the news all the time Facebook is a, another very good example um, but what is actually behind these valuations. LinkedIn is, I think, going to be valued at potentially around $3 billion. But uh, from my uh, uh, research, I think their profit is only about $2.5 million a year. Yes, it's a very good question. You know, I've been through two or three different venture capital cycles, and it's amazing how the same themes and the same issues tend to recur. Back in 98, 99, people had perfectly good internet businesses but the question from an investor or a venture capitalist was always how do you commercialize this how do you monetize it what's your revenue model and I think these are still questions with the social networking sites that people both entrepreneurs and venture capitals and analysts actually are struggling to come to terms with for example what new sorts of marketing will be effective to make best use of them so very difficult to say that these valuations are in any way scientific. And of course one thing about valuations is that they do go up quickly but they do have a tendency to go down very quickly as well. So if uh, these venture capital companies want to exit, what options are they really out there for them? I mean I know that the stock markets uh, you know, are not going to have that much uh, uh, you know, sell potential. Well, it doesn't look like it at the moment, certainly, but I would have thought that in terms of exit, they would be looking at something like an IPO. But of course, various players in this sector have not yet really made their move. One wonders, for example, what Microsoft are going to do. Well, Sky, thank you. This is definitely a place to watch over the next uh, few months. Yes, it is. Thank you. Thank you.